Okay, so in my last video, uh, I took some people's advice and I started uh, dirtying up my uh, my dash, or what are they, C449Ws. Um, I've actually changed the number. If you can see on there, 4642 was actually 4643. Um, managed to get a 2 from just a, a gothic uh, number sheet, microscale sheet, but of course it's black. Um, so I have to do kind of like a blue, purpley blue on the number two. So that's been actually uh, semi-glossed over. So the two is now permanent on the cab. I've done the back numbers as well. And I still have to do the uh, the number boards. Uh, that still says 4643. Anyway, um, looking at 4644, the trucks were seriously dirty. I thought they'd actually been replaced um, and painted black, or black, replaced with black trucks. So I did, uh, I did that. I uh, I got the airbrush out and I painted them black. And uh, my son said, "Oh, why are the trucks black?" And I said, "Oh, because like they're they've I think they've been replaced." And he uh, he looked at the picture of forty six forty four. He's like, "No, no, no, they're just dirty." <laughs> and I looked again, and I'm like, "Oh, he's right." So happy little mistake here. I um I had to clean off the black paint because I airbrushed it on. It's the Tamiya rubber black. I don't know what XF number it is, but uh, I figured, okay, well, I didn't dull coat them in, so uh, it should be easy to come off. So a happy little mistake actually turns out to be something pretty cool. So I'll show you the process here. So I'm just using 70% rubbing alcohol and a paintbrush. And so you just put some, get your brush wet and start painting. And uh, you can see right before your eyes, what you end up getting is, I guess, something to the effect of panel line wash. And uh, it actually looks really good. Um, so this is kind of a, a removal process, not the way I normally would have done it, but this actually works really well. So for you guys here who want to just uh, go crazy and do a rough paint job, and slap on some paint with your airbrush. I guess you could use a brush as well, but it'd be harder to get into all the details. You can feel free to do that and uh, know that you can just use some rubbing alcohol and a paintbrush and take 95% of it off without any kind of damage. As far as I know, anyway, I haven't run this thing, but I'm assuming it still runs. And yeah, and what it does is it highlights all the details. So there's actually three places on these trucks where they've they've been stamped with the uh, the manufacturer. I don't know if these are DeFasco or not. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be, so I can't read that, but there's some text right here. And so dirt would automatically collect around that raised, the raised uh, portion of the forge. Anyway, um, yeah, so just keep going at it with a, a wet 70% alcohol I'm using. You could probably use 50, but it would take longer. I probably wouldn't use 100 on here because it may take off the silver paint. But uh, yeah, I'm using 70% and it seems to be fine. And this paint has been dried for a few days now. So anyway, I'll uh, show you the other truck that I've done. I think it looks quite good. So that's the truck that's been done. I don't know about you guys, but I think that detail looks amazing. So yeah, feel free to go crazy with your paintbrush. I'm gonna actually paint the whole bottom. I'm gonna do the gas or the diesel tank as well, and maybe even the stairs. And I'm just gonna use this new process I just kind of fell into. Um, and uh, continue on. So I'll just do a quick comparison of the, that's the truck without any paint on it. And that's the truck with a little bit of paint remaining. So the details really, really pop. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, hopefully that helps some fellow modelers out. Gives them a bit of confidence to go crazy with their airbrush. <laughs> 
anyway, so yes, yeah, so this is going to be my base coat. I'm obviously going to do a bit more to it because the trucks are pretty dirty. But I, I really like the uh, results of, uh, of doing what I did. Anyway, have a good day. Have a good weekend.